Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have who we got here today, man? Yo, we got Lou Shiesty on what went down in Miami, Akon on the GTA, T.I. and Sabrina trade responses, and Vanessa Carton on the Who I Smoke sample. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, man, if this is your first time to the channel, you know what it is. It's like every other channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. You follow me? Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. We definitely appreciate that. And notification bell is waiting for you to tap it, so go on and give it a tap, all right? Speaking of which... We reported to you yesterday, right, that Pooh Shiesty was performing on stage in Miami with four pockets full of cash. And the word on the street was that your boy had someone, uh, your boy had someone rob him, or at least pickpocket him while he was on stage. I mean, whoever narrated the video that we showed was screaming out, yo, they hit him for his money. They jacked Pooh Shiesty. They took his money. Close quote, right? Furthermore, it was stated. Yeah, I said furthermore. That your boy pulled out the cannon and clapped off a couple, but uh, allegedly into the crowd, right? Before leaving the venue. Now, Poole took to the gram to address the situation and simply stated, false allegations, nothing never been took from me. Close quote. And that's all he said, right? <laughs> Look, you know the man ain't much for words, right? Which makes him that much more believable to me. But here's the problem. It doesn't matter how hard you are, Okay. It does not matter how many bodies you got under your belt. All right? If somebody's like, yo, man, if you, like, you ever heard the statement of somebody is like, don't bring that bull ish over here? That's like what it is. If you're a gangster wherever you live at, that's one thing. But when you go in another area, you are now dealing with a whole different home court. You know what I'm saying? Like you are, you do not have home court advantage at that at that point. You're dealing with somebody else's home court. You're dealing with somebody else's cannon. You're dealing with somebody else's peoples, man. You cannot be, tri you know, triple hard gangster and all this other craziness, and then you're running around in somebody else's neighborhood talking crazy because this is insanity. S We're not sure. Like he said, ain't nobody got me for my papers. People are saying, yeah, no, 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 we got you for your papers. Okay, if you're going up, if you're going up in someone else's hood, please be aware of the fact that cats is like you in my you in my house now. You see what I'm saying? I don't, we don't care who you think you are, wherever you live at. Now that you over here, it is what it is. You follow what I'm saying? It makes me think of um, what is it? I think Billy, Biggie was killed in L.A. If I remember, if my memory is serving me right. Pop was killed in um Las Vegas. Vaughn was killed in Georgia. Are you getting my drift? Boosie was popped in Texas. It's, it's like, it, it don't matter. Look, what, what they said. I think it was Buckshot Shorty that said, F where you from, it's about where you're at. <laughs> he wasn't lying. <sighs> look, remember when we reported to you that Akon got jacked for his range? And when he called 911, Big Worm basically took the 911 call, was like, boy, what the cuff you want? Well, part two of that story is that the car was found and Tyrese went on social media talking about he was going to bail the dude out because they were just trying to make money which essentially shows us that if you're going to pull a gta move you best make sure that tyrese knows about that joint first now a source close to akon has stated that the artist has chosen to not press charges the source stated quote that was him before he was blessed with success so he understands the struggle he doesn't plan to press charges, so he hopes that they take that as a second chance to focus on a more positive approach to getting out of the hood and make use of the time they have out of jail to better their lives. Close quote. What, Akon? Did, are you saying that you have gigs lined up for this person so they can get a job and don't have to resort to robbing? <laughs> I thought I heard him say that. Now, I, salute to Akon for that, man. Real talk. For real, for real, right? A lot of folks would have just um, let that play out, however. So, you know what I'm saying? I give, I give him props for that, okay? Um... Now, this look, the song I love to hear, right, but refuse to listen to is Who I Smoke, right? I think that's from like, uh, what is his name? Sp uh, Spinner, Spinner Benz, uh, Young and Ace, all them cats, right? Like, I like the way the song sounds. I hate what the song is, okay? I just want to throw that out there, all right? Um, and it, it could be that, it could be that, right? First off, it samples Vanessa Carlton's A Thousand Miles Joint, which I ain't going front. I like that joint. You follow me? <laughs> Look, you can laugh all you want. I don't give a cuff, okay? Hey, I ain't trying to impress nobody over here. Look, I'll play that joint with you in the ride right now. I just don't feel like it. 
<laughs> anyway, the collab with uh, Spinner Benz, who uh, Whopper with the Chopper Young and Ace Fast Money Goons, it sounds relatively hot, but the content of what they're saying is awful. Real talk. See, the juxtaposition of the innocent sounding Vanessa Carlton over the joint while listening to them mock the murder victims with glee and joy dancing make me like, I'll never play that joint in my crib. You see what I'm saying? I feel like there's a curse connected to that joint. I ain't playing it. That's just me. Okay? Look, Vanessa Carlton has provided her thoughts on the use of her sample, stating, quote, to the white folks that have expressed to the white folks to the white folks that have expressed anger shock over my approval of a thousand miles as usage in the spinner Benz Whopper with a chopper young and ace and fast money goon song who I smoke I invite you to ask yourself why do you feel this way and then read this right she then shared a clip of a famous scene from Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dog stating quote Popular songs accompanied by white violence or tales of white violence aren't questioned. It's considered visceral or cinematic. Here we have stuck in the uh, stuck in the middle with you playing while a guy gets his ear cut off. Reservoir dogs. Close quote. Vanessa, little lady, I, uh, I like your song. Here's the difference though, sis. Okay. The man in Quentin Tarantino's movie, right, did not in all actuality get his ear removed. It was all an act. You see, there were cameras, there was lights, there was a crew, probably hundreds of people on set. Someone yelled cut. Then they shot the scene a few more times for good measure. But with this song, Who I Smoke, these guys are making actual fun of actual people who have actually died actual deaths horrific deaths might i add it wasn't cinematic it wasn't a fictional tale of black violence these are actual people under the age of 25 that have actually been murdered okay and these rappers are making fun of the deceased people and the family members are hearing these artists mock their dead relatives who did not get to live out their lives over the sample to your song look I get you trying to rock with the black cause thing, okay? And all that, all right? But this ain't one of those moments, sis, all right? Just sit down somewhere for, for a second, okay? Because if that was my son or my kid on that song, I'm in a complete hunting mode. Like, I'm I'm, I'm hunting somebody. You follow what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the thing that, I, like, I hate about that song, man. There are mad people that have lost loved ones that are like, yo, man, if I, like, this perpetuates violence in a society, man. Don't put your stamp of approval on something like that, sis. I'm sorry, okay? And finally, on Memorial Day week, and got a lot to say. T.I. has provided a response to uh, Sabrina Peterson. <laughs> you like, I thought he did that already. Yeah, well, he did it again. Sabrina gave the tipster an ultimatum and stated, quote, tell the truth about me. Tell the truth about what you did to me and apologize. I'm gone. Right? That's what she said. I don't want one dime. And here's the other stipulation. Do it within seven days. Really, lady. Now, T.I. responded by saying, this is what it comes to. Essentially saying, listen to my song to get your response. But he added another response, which was simply an apology, <laughs> right? With an image of him laughing like crazy. I'm talking one of them belly laughs, right? Now, Sabrina provided a response to uh, of her own, which was, pride comes before the fall. A good old quote from the scripture. I believe it's Proverbs 18, but I could be wrong, right? But the, the quote was, pride comes before the fall. And it had a pic of T.I. standing alongside... R. Kelly. <laughs> Sneaky move, lady. It's sad when someone standing next to you <laughs> alone is a problem. She also posted a narcissist checklist. I, I guess she's trying to emphasize that T.I. fits the checklist. It's a weird message to post, but you know, I mean, I don't know. Let us know what you think about all that, man. Hopefully I get some views off of this bad boy, and if we don't, man, I did my best. Y you follow what I'm saying? And you let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.